Hi, this is Dr. Amin Aitisami for another episode of Wise Wednesdays. Is confusion sometimes a good thing? I believe it is, and I see clients go through a phase of confusion when they go through change. It simply means, really, that you're letting go of an old set of assumptions and stories and narratives and making space for a new story and a new set of um, assumptions, or perhaps no assumptions. This process ha has been known to us as, uh, in human societies for a long time. We used to have rituals uh, to take members of the group, members of the community, from one role in life to another or from one stage in life to another. Now we know them as birthdays and weddings and so on, but we used to have more specific ones. So, for example, Native American people have a tradition where a young adult might go out into nature and spend some time alone and wait to hear for, for an insight, for an ins for some inspiration, for a vision of what they're called to do in life, what their purpose is. And then they would bring the information that came to them back to their community and it would be interpreted and then be helped to move forward. But that phase where you go and spend some time alone in nature and you don't really know what the answer is immediately is okay. It was part of the process of development and of growing up and of finding your place in the world. But today we live in a culture where you're expected to be an expert. It's a knowledge economy. So if you don't have the answers immediately, that's bad. Um, it feels vulnerable. But that's not how life works. So I just want to share a couple of distinctions around confusion. What might be good confusion and what might be bad confusion. Of course, there's no, not really a, a good or a bad thing. Um, it's just more of um, a little distinction to help you understand if you're going through a process of change or if there's something else going on. So good confusion is when you feel that something else is calling you, but you're not sure what yet. You feel that maybe this isn't the job for you anymore, this isn't the right relationship or situation for you anymore, but you just don't know what's next. And then it creates a kind of a fear sometimes because you don't have the answers, therefore there's a problem. But no, there isn't a problem. So if you have that sense, something's ending, and something else might be coming, but you can't see what, that's a positive sign. It means you're moving, your life is evolving. You can call it questioning the story phase. So you might have a story that you're supposed to have this job and this level of financial security or whatever it is, and you're starting to realize that maybe that isn't the case. It's not necessarily true anymore. So you're questioning a story that shapes your life. So for example, for some of my clients, they're moving from a story where they're supposed to be experts and they're supposed to work a nine to five and make a great salary to something that's maybe more independent, maybe that's less focused on status and money and more focus on freedom and autonomy and creativity and a contribution to society that's based on their true gifts or their deeper gifts, not just their intellect. And let's talk about bad confusion. So bad confusion doesn't question the story, it questions your experience. So it's something like someone telling you, no, you're not confused. Or you're trying to pretend, or you're trying to pretend that you're not confused by showing bravado, you're still telling the old story of like, no, I'm meant to be uh, an engineer and that's what I'm going to be for the rest of my life. If my parents are proud of it, why would I not be an engineer? Rather than saying, I'm not sure anymore. I don't know what the answer is, but I'm just not sure. So an experience of confusion or questioning. If you invalidate the experience itself, you're just suppressing. You're suppressing what you're feeling or what you're experiencing. In a toxic environment that can manifest as someone else telling you that no, you're not confused or no, you're not tired, keep working. So good confusion, question the story and the assumptions and discuss and dialogue and go on a vision quest. That's part of the transformation process. Bad confusion, you're questioning and invalidating the experience or the feeling that's associated with a story that isn't yet gone. Let me know below if you have any questions uh, or comments. Have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.